Hi, today we're going to be doing a gentle yoga practice with a chair. So if you don't have a chair, turn off the video right now for just a moment, grab a chair, and then come back and join me. Great. Here we go. Bring your feet to the floor right underneath your knees. Sit back in your chair very comfortably. Bring your hands to your thighs, either facing down or facing up, whichever you prefer. Press your hands gently into your thighs and help that to find some extra length in the spine. Reach the back of your skull behind you just a bit and then allow your eyes to close your gaze to soften down. Notice any sound, movement or vibration going on around you. And take a moment just to play with your toes. Wiggle them around, press them into the floor, lift them and press them down. Find the ankles underneath the knees. Notice how your knees feel as you then bring your attention up the upper leg, into the hips, into the belly, to the chest, shoulders, arms, fingertips, neck, eyes, cheeks, jaw, forehead. And then from here, notice how you're breathing. So you don't have to do anything special to your breath right now. Just notice that you are breathing. And if you were to assign some kind of adjective to how you're breathing, what would it sound like? Would it be an easy breath? Would it be relaxed breath? You might notice that there's some heaviness to the breath or some anxiety to the breath, which would be perfectly normal under the circumstances that we find ourselves in right now. So let's shift that. Whatever it is that you're doing right now, let's take three breaths in through the nose and exhale with a big open sigh. So don't be afraid to make any noise here. Make as much noise as you want. We're gonna start just by a nice big breath in. Ah, open that mouth wide. Inhale. Ah, and again. Ah, and with those three breaths, did it feel a little bit like something shifted? Does it feel a little lighter in your body? Does it feel a little more energized in your body? Does it still feel kind of anxious or do you feel more relaxed? There's no wrong answer to this, so please don't worry. Any way you are breathing is the right way to breathe. Remember that. There's no wrong way to breathe. Now let's see if we can breathe in more actively through our nose and exhale actively through our nose. So we would look at this perhaps as being ujjayi pranayama, which is ocean sounding breathing. Um, if that comes naturally to you, that's great. And if it doesn't, please don't worry about it. Just try to inhale through your nose, a long breath in. And exhale through the nose, long breath out. Inhaling. And exhaling. And breath in and breath out. Okay. Let's bring the hands in front of the chest for a moment and just take a second to create an intention, dedication, or focus for this practice this afternoon. Let it be the first thing that comes to your mind. So Maybe it's just being more present with your breath. Good. Well, let's take a breath in together. And exhale. And if you would like to join me, we'll begin with the sound of Om chanting three times. Taking an easy breath in. Om. by the side. Inhale, lift the arms, gaze at your thumbs as you lift up. Exhale, bring the arms back by your side. Inhale, lift the arms out and up, gaze at your thumbs. And exhale, bring the arms back by your side. And one more time, inhale to lift. 
And as you exhale, bring the arms back by your side. Inhale, lift the shoulders up towards your ears and exhale, release the shoulders back down. Inhale, lift those shoulders and squeeze them up and exhale, release back down. And one more time, inhale to lift and exhale, release. Inhale, lift the right arm out and up. And as you exhale, lean into your left side. Hold here and breathe here. Direct your breath into the right side of your body. And as you exhale, stay here and take one more. As you exhale, release the right arm back by your side and inhale, lift the left arm out and up. As you exhale, reach over into your right side. Does it feel different on this side? It might. Breathing into the left side of the body, exhaling to stay in one more time. As you exhale, release back down. Let's slide a little bit in front of your chair. So you're sitting up nice and tall right there on the edge of your seat. Inhale, lift the arms out and up. And as you exhale, rotate your trunk to the right side and lower your arms down. And inhale and lift the arms back out and up. And as you exhale, rotate to the left and lower arms down. Then inhale, lift back up. Exhale, rotate again to the right and lower arms. Inhale, lift the arms out and up. And exhale, rotate to the left, lower arms down. And one more time, inhale to lift up. Exhale to the right, inhale, lift back up and exhale to the left. Inhale, lift the arms out and up and as you exhale, release the arms back by your side. Place your hands on your thighs facing down. Inhale, reach your collarbone forward, lift your chin and let your tailbone lift up back behind you. As you exhale, round your spine and look at your belly button. So this is like a rounded, a seated cow and cat. So the inhale will lift you up into cow, arching your spine. Exhale into cat, rounding the spine. Inhale again to lift and exhale again to lower. One more time, inhale and exhale. Beautiful. From here, let's go ahead and come to stand. Bring the chair so the back of the chair is facing you. Most of the chair is, the seat of the chair is facing away from you. Bring your hands onto the top of the chair and step your right foot forward with your left toes back. With the support of the chair, you can bring those left toes to the floor and keep your heel lifted without feeling like you're going to topple over. Hold here and breathe. Then inhale, lift your right arm up. As you exhale, stay here. And if you're feeling very stable, you're certainly welcome to lift your left arm up as well. But you're more than welcome to keep one or both hands on, on the chair. Stay here for one more breath. As you exhale, you're gonna spin your left heel down as you turn your left toes towards the left Keep your right knee bent, in fact, almost touching the back of the chair. From here, once again, your right hand could be on the chair as you take your left arm out to the left side. If you feel comfortable, you can lift your right arm up too. This is called warrior two pose. You can stay here. If you want to, you can continue to bring your, you can continue to have your right hand on the chair as you begin to lean into your left side, leaning back, still keeping the right knee pushing forward. If you want to, you can lift your right arm up and overhead. As you exhale, bring both hands back to the chair and step both feet forward, switching sides now. So you're gonna step your left foot forward and bring your right toes to the floor behind you with your right heel lifted. This is our lunge position. Both hands, one hand or both hands can lift up. So keeping your right hand on the chair this time, inhale and lift the left arm straight up. Keep your right hand there or if you're feeling stable, you can lift your right arm up as well and hold. Breathing in 
and breathing out. Place your left hand back to the chair and spin your right heel down. So now your right toes point to the right side, left knee is bent. Left hand can stay on the chair as you take your right arm out to behind you. If you're feeling stable here, which you probably will because warrior two is pretty stable, you can lift your left hand up as well. We're going to come into peaceful warrior now. So the right arm is going to come down the right leg and either keep your left hand on the chair or lift your left arm up. Keep that left knee bent over the left ankle. Take one more breath here. And as you exhale, bring your hands back to the chair and step forward. Okay, so now we're going to move a little faster and we're gonna add, no, we'll, we're gonna add an extra pose now. Right foot comes forward, left toes go back. So here we are again in our lunge, both hands on the chair, one arm could lift or both arms can lift for your high lunge. Take a breath here. As you exhale, spin your left heel down and open to warrior two. Right knee is still there. Hand could be on the chair. Inhale, reach back for peaceful warrior or your right hand could still be here, right? So we don't, we're not working on balance, we're just working on strength, mostly in the legs. As you exhale, we're going to bring the hands to the chair, but now we're going to bring the hands to the seat of the chair. We're gonna spin onto the toes of the left foot and lift the left leg up. If you feel comfortable here, you might stay here. If you feel okay with your head below your heart, you can bring your head to face the seat of the chair. Your left leg is lifted, your hips are parallel to the floor, your foot could be pointed or flexed, whichever you prefer. We're gonna take one more breath here, and then exhale. Slide the left foot next to the right, and slowly roll up. Good, let's do the other side. So left foot is forward, right toes are for, or back, and once again, either the left arm lifts and the right hand stays on the chair, or you could lift both arms up if that feels comfortable. Hold here, breathe here. As you exhale, we open to warrior two. So the right heel comes down, left knee is bent, left arm reaches forward or is on the chair with the right hand behind you. Inhale, reach back for peaceful warrior. Hold here, breathe here. Then as you exhale, we're gonna bring the hands to the chair, spin onto the toes of the right foot, and then we walk the hands to the actual seat of the chair and lift off of that right leg. Once again, either the top of the head is facing forward or facing the seat of the chair. Either one is fine. Pointed or flexed foot, also fine. Then slide your right foot next to the left and slowly roll up. Okay, the next one we're gonna add in half moon pose. So once again, we step the left foot back, right foot is forward, right knee is bent, both hands on the chair, one hand lifts up or both hands lift up as you come into your high lunge. Exhale and open to warrior two. We know this one now. Inhale, flip your palms, reach back for peaceful warrior. And now it's gonna get fun. We're gonna bring the hands to the chair. We're gonna slide the right foot towards us just a little bit. I'm gonna keep my left hand on the top of the chair and bring my right hand to the seat of the chair and spin my hip to open towards the ceiling. Now you see I lifted my hand, so you can if you want to, <laughs> if you feel stable, but you don't have to. We're still getting everything we want from this pose by standing like this. So if you want to bring your hand up, that's fine. This is half moon pose, one of my favorites. Big breath in. As you exhale, bring it all down and slowly roll up. 
Let's do it from the other side. I'm just going to shift my chair so you can see that from this direction. Left foot forward, right foot back. Either one hand or both hands lift up for high lunge. Exhale, open to warrior two. So the right foot spins down now. Inhale, flip your palms, reach back for peaceful warrior. As you exhale, here we go, ready? We're going to bring the right hand to the top of the chair, the left hand to the seat of the chair, lift off of the right leg, spin that right hip up towards the ceiling, and either keep holding with this right hand, or now lift your right hand up for half moon pose on this side. Beautiful. Try not to hold your breath as you do this. Great. Exhale, bring your hands down. Bring your right foot next to the left and slowly roll back up. Good. Beautiful. Let's see about a few things we can do with the chair seat facing us now. So most of us think about yoga as being endless down dogs and planks, but we haven't done any down dogs or planks yet. So let's see how we can do that with the chair. Inhale and lift the arms out and up. As you exhale, swan dive over and bring your hands to the seat of the chair. Step your right foot back, step your left foot back and press your seat back, lengthen your arms and you're kind of in a downward facing dog. Inhale, we'll come forward into a plank. Your hands are on the seat of the chair right underneath your shoulders. Pull the navel to the spine and then exhale once again back to downward facing dog. So let's do that three times. Ready? We'll inhale and come forward to plank and exhale to downward facing dog. Inhale, come forward to plank, and exhale to downward facing dog. And then one more time. Inhale, forward to plank, and exhale, downward facing dog. Now how about we inhale and lift the right leg up, and as you exhale, bring the right foot towards the chair. Then we can inhale, and lift up into high lunge. And exhale and open to warrior two. Then inhale, flip the palms, reach back for peaceful warrior. And then exhale all the way back to downward facing dog. Inhale and lift the left leg up and back. And exhale, bring the foot forward. Inhale, lift up for high lunge and exhale and open to warrior two. Inhale, reach back for peaceful warrior, and exhale back to downward facing dog. Good. Inhale again, come forward to plank, and exhale to downward facing dog. Inhale again to plank, and exhale to downward facing dog. And then one more time. Inhale, forward to plank, and exhale to downward facing dog. Good, let's roll, walk those feet back towards the chair. Slowly roll back up, and come back to sit on the chair. Um, I changed my mind. I wanna do a, a variation of lizard pose with you. It's a really nice way to get some uh, sensation of openness in the hips. Normally you do this, well, we can do this in many different ways. What we're gonna do right now is we're gonna bring one foot to the outside edge of the chair and slide the other foot back as far as possible, making sure that you don't feel like you're going to slide anywhere. Now, I want you to hug your knee in towards the chair as much as possible. If it is available to you, try bringing your forearms to the seat of the chair and hold. Once again, drawing that knee in towards the chair. And you'll hold here and breathe, say for anywhere between six to 12 breaths. 
Then you'll bring your hands back to the seat, step the other leg back, and bring the other knee forward to do so on the, same, on the other side. Hug that knee in towards the side of the chair. If you need to, you might put a blanket so that you're not feeling like you're pressing into your knee on a hard chair. Once again, bringing the forearm down to the seat of the chair and drawing the navel in as you breathe for anywhere between six to 12 breaths, longer if you prefer. And then once again, hands here, we step the feet back, maybe stretch it out in, one, in a bone, down dog variation and then roll back up. And now we can sit back down in the chair. So that was just a kind of a variation of lizard pose, which is a nice way to feel like some uh, openness in the hips. We call it openness in yoga. Let's bring that right ankle across the left thigh. From here, you're just going to hold and press down with your right hand a little bit into that leg. Sit up on the edge of the seat, very tall, and breathe. Let's hold on to the foot with your left hand and lift the right arm up and reach over into your left side. Then come back into the center and switch. Hold on with the right hand, lift the left arm up and reach over into your left side, your right side. <laughs> Come back into the center and release down. Switch left ankle over right thigh now. And you may notice that one side feels a little different from the other side. Sitting up once again at the edge of the seat and pressing down with your hand. Hold on to your ankle with your right hand and lift your left arm up and lean into your right side. Then switch, lifting and reaching over. And come back into the center and release that back down. Good. Sitting back in the chair and bring your hands once again to press down into your thighs, allow your eyes to close, your gaze to soften down. You can even hold your hands or bring your hands into a little mudra if you like. And once again, let your breath just contact again with your breath. What does it feel like? How do you feel? You've done about 25 minutes worth of movement and breathing, and how does it feel right now in your body? Let's do our squared breathing practice. We'll inhale to the count of five, hold the breath for the count of five, exhale to the count of five, and hold the breath again for the count of five. And let's do that four times. I'm gonna count for you the first two times, and then just let you know when to change your breath the second two times. Let's start by taking a clearing breath in, and exhale. And then we'll begin to inhale, two, three, four, five. Hold the breath, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Hold the breath, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Hold the breath, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Hold the breath, two, three, four, five. Inhale, Hold, exhale, hold, breathing in, 
hold. Breathing out. Hold. And release. Take a deep breath in. Wiggle your finger, fingers and toes. And take a deep breath in. Lift your arms out and up. Gaze at your thumbs or keep your eyes closed. Just lift your chin and then bring your hands right into the center of your chest. <sighs> Be very grateful to yourself for working through this practice with me for the last few minutes. I hope that it's felt a little bit of movement felt good. Let's take one more breath in together and exhale. If you'd like to join me, we'll seal this practice with the sound of Om chanting once. Taking an easy breath in. Om. Thank you so much. Namaste.